Pat Mullally, GolfGirls.com. I'm here today to talk about how you keep score and how do you determine winners when people are playing with different handicaps. Let's say you go out and you play a golf game, round of golf, 18 holes, with someone who has a 10 handicap and you have a 20. How do you know who really won the round of golf? Well, golf uses handicaps to even the playing field. Someone with a 10 handicap say, takes a certain number of strokes on an 18 hole round of golf. Someone with a 20 takes even more. Which holes do you take those on? It's all determined by the course rating and the course handicap that's in your uh, golf scorecard that you pick up at the pro shop. And by knowing which holes to mark to give and take strokes, you can determine at the end of the round which of you has won the round of golf. So it's really simple, straightforward, not hard to learn. I'm going to show you that right now. When marking your scorecard for a uh, round of golf, you have to know ahead of time if you're going to be playing stroke play or match play. Stroke play is when you uh, each uh, fill in the golf scorecard as you play, marking the number of strokes in each hole. And at the end, you simply total up your uh, strokes minus your handicap to give you a, uh, a, a net score. So you can see in this instance we've got the three players. Um, they have their all their scores are placed uh, going out the front nine, coming in for the back nine. You get a total, you take the handicap, you minus that from the gross score, and you end up with a net. And in this case you can see that Jim, with his handicap of 10, has received the lowest net score, so he wins the round. And that's stroke play. It's quite st pretty straightforward. When you're playing with match play, where you're playing one hole against the others based on your handicap, you have to do something a little bit different. And we'll take these out and you'll see how that it works. What you need to do is determine um, on which holes, first of all, you get um, a stroke. And that's determined by the difficulty of each of the holes on the golf course. You look at the handicap line, which as you see right here, for the men it's just below the blue and white tees at the top of the scorecard here. That indicates the difficulty of each of the holes for men players. The most difficult hole is the seventh hole, which is marked by a number one. Second most difficult is the 18th, which is marked by a 2. For the women, it's the handicap for this course is down here at the bottom. And so you look, the most difficult for the women is also the 7th hole. Uh, the second most difficult is the, uh, uh, the, six, uh, the 10th hole, which is right over here, second most. When you're starting to mark your card with the strokes that each player gets, you use these handicap rows to indicate that. So for Jim, on the most difficult hole on the golf course, he'll get a stroke. We mark that with a little dot. And on the second most difficult, he'll get another dot indicating he gets a stroke on that hole. And on the third, right here, and on the fourth. And we just keep doing that for 10 strokes. Samantha will do the same using the handicap row down here at the bottom for the women. And she'll get a stroke on every hole except the 18th most difficult, which would be the least difficult for women, and that happens to be the uh, 12th hole right here. So she won't get a stroke on that one, but on every other hole she'll get a stroke. And Josh, he has a handicap of 20, so he'll get a stroke on absolutely every hole on an 18-hole golf course, plus he'll get an extra one on the most difficult for men, so we'll give him two there, and the next most difficult for men, which is the 18th hole, so he'll get two. What does that look like? When uh, you take and if you prepare the score card ahead of time, it would look like this, where you could see all the dots are there for each of the strokes that each of the player gets. Once the scorecard is uh, prepared, you then play the round of golf, and each of the players marks both their gross score and their net score to give you um, a, um, a winner for each hole. In this case, Jim, on the first hole, uh, he, his gross score was a four, 5. He gets one stroke, so he gets a net of 4. Samantha, she had six strokes. She gets a stroke, so she gets a net score of 5. And uh, Josh had a uh, net score, uh, excuse me, a gross of 8 with a net score of 7. And so you could see that on this particular hole, and we're playing match, so it's one hole against another, 
uh, the winner is Jim. So he won that hole. And you keep playing throughout the entire course. Uh, each hole is a separate little match, and you determine how many uh, you win by adding up the number of winning holes that you have. And that gives you your, uh, the winner of the round of golf. So it's pretty straightforward. Hope you found that helpful and that you can use this information next time you go play a round of golf. Hope it's the best.